local amateur cooks who probably thought that Oxtail was a high street charity shop. Together, Michael and my Caribbean counterfeit chef Johnny had brought them here to test their knowledge of Afro-Caribbean cuisine. It was in for a penny, in for a pound, did ya? And time to turn up the heat. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the great British jerk-off. My name is Michael Dapper, a.k.a. Young Ainsley. And uh, I am Johnny Oliver, uh, Jamie Oliver's cousin. You know, I got the, uh, the looks and the jukes, and he got, uh, well, he got cancelled. Today, we are going to be cooking black cuisine. You got 60 minutes to Make cook anything. an African or Caribbean dish. So, on your marks. Get set, jerk. Yeah. My mains. Now, I can see your sausage, John. Tell me what's going on. Um, they cook these green bananas yeah, in yeah, Africa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, now, I was thinking, of, I was actually going to bake one when I baked my sausages, see how this comes out. Well, mate, that's not the taste of Africa. We're looking or for the, the Caribbean, taste of we're looking for the taste of Africa. Have you tried some of the shit Um, The first part of what you said was what it tasted like. I did actually try a little list, and God, it was disgusting. So I you... thought it was black pepper. John, what I will say is, if we can't get you to experiment with the ingredients, perhaps we can get you to experiment with some of the techniques. Show me how you'd stir these usually. Right, and that is exactly the problem. You secure the bowl and just begin to really involve the whole body. You need to become the spoon. Let's have a look. So, pull up to the bumper. That is great stuff. Carry on as you are. Integrate the techniques we've taught you. And if you can, surprise us, do. Wow. What is that, a cheese toasty? Got a... John. Welcome to my Afro-Caribbean take on English crispy bangers and mash. That's a Tory food, bruv. That plate that says Margaret Thatcher, bruv. What are you talking about? That's as black, hard as brick. Yo. Man run for the rhythm and flex. Your bangers and mash is there. Your bangers and mash is there. there we oh, go. Bang, 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 bang. Like a professional, John. Thank you. Thank you, John. So, the victor in the first ever Great British Jerk Off is. Guy. Man oh, like Guy. Man like Guy. I told you, you're the guy. How do you feel? Elated. I knew it was going to happen, though. When I see sausage and mash coming out, I thought, nah, I've got this. Man, you <laughs> rubbed you out, son. You got rubbed out, yeah. Right, so, guys, the competition's over now. How did you find it? Be honest. Educational. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> In Thanet and some of the surrounding regions, there have been a couple of black restaurants that have actually been sort of vandalised. And a lot of the time, I think it's probably from a lack of understanding or appreciation of that culture. Hopefully, you came away with something. And fingers crossed, if you keep going, you might be the ones to open the first Fanny Afro Caribbean restaurant. I think happen? it's John. Oh, Johnny! Four perfect strangers had entered the kitchen with no knowledge of Afro Caribbean cuisine and left with skills that could get them a job in any good Turtle Bay restaurant. Our mission was done.